Hi again. Today I'm making a creamy cleansing scrub with pumice powder and apricot powder. I use very fine pumice powder, which is suitable for the face. You can use less fine pumice powder for deeper exfoliation, which is more suitable for the body. The formula with more information is on the website. In this formula, I use lactic acid as another exfoliate agent. Lactic acid works by dissolving the bonds between dead skin cells on the surface, making it easier for them to be shed. I am starting with phase A. I create a slurry by mixing xanthan gum and glycerin. Xanthan gum gives some volume and thickness to the final scrub. Mixing the gum with glycerin helps to disperse the gum and avoid clumps when adding the water. If you want alternatives to the ingredients I use, check the written post for that information. If you like solid products and want to make a solid cleanser body scrub, I made a solid scrub not long ago and I'll leave the link to it in the description. I add distilled water to the slurry and mix to combine. I get a jelly-like consistency once I mix the water with the slurry. I add diesel glucoside to phase A. Diesel glucoside is considered a gentle surfactant that can effectively remove dirt from the skin without irritating it. I cover phase A with aluminum foil and set it aside. For phase B, I chose cocoa butter as a solid emollient. Cocoa butter deeply nourishes and moisturizes the skin. It has a high vitamin E content and helps to achieve that creaminess final texture. Next in phase B is the emulsifier. This emulsifying wax also adds to the creamy texture of the scrub making it easy to apply and rinse off. You have alternatives for different emulsifying waxes you can use instead. Another emollient I used is coffee oil. I chose coffee oil because it is rich in antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory and soothing properties. It can also help reduce redness and puffiness and caffeine stimulates the blood flow. Once I have all the ingredients for phases A and B, I place them into a double boiler on low heat for 20 minutes. While I wait for phases A and B to heat and melt, I prepare phases C and D. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I use lactic acid as another exfoliate agent. I use an 80% solution of lactic acid. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. AHA. Lactic acid helps to improve skin texture and tone, making it smoother and more even. The other two ingredients for phase C are the preservative and the fragrance. I use Cosgard as my preservative and cucumber and melon fragrance. If you use another preservative that can't perform in very acidic pH, add the preservative separately from the lactic acid. In phase D, I have the super fine pumice powder and the apricot powder. Superfine pumice powder offers mechanical exfoliation by gently removing dead skin cells and impurities. It helps unclog pores, prevent breakouts, and refine skin texture. The superfine pumice powder has a similar texture to sugar powder. The superfine particles ensure gentle exfoliation and reducing the risk of irritation. If you want to create a body scrub with more exfoliation, you can replace the superfine pumice powder with a less fine powder that is more exfoliating. Usually suppliers will have pumice powder for the face and pumice powder for the body. In this formula, I combine several exfoliators. 
To add more texture, I use apricot powder, another exfoliator with different particle sizes and exfoliating levels. The apricot powder is less fine than the pomace powder. And since I make this scrub for the face, I use much less apricot powder than pumice powder. You can use other exfoliators to personalize this scrub to your needs. I set aside phases C and D and go to remove phases A and B from the heat. After removing them from the heat, I combine phases A and B. Use a high-speed blender or mixer for two minutes to form a stable emulsion. Let the mixture cool down before adding phases C and D. We can add the other phases when the temperature is less than 40 degrees Celsius. First, I add phase C and combine it with the emulsion. Before I add phase D, I check the pH to ensure it's within my desired pH range. The final pH should be 4.5 to 5. You can find information on pH adjustments on the website if you need to adjust the pH. Also, I added some color to the scrub before I added phase D. I used chlorophyll powder for this formula. Other than its beautiful green color, chlorophyll is known for its detoxifying abilities. It helps to purge impurities and toxins from the skin and its antioxidant properties shield the skin from environmental damage. Chlorophyll powder is derived from green plants and algae. The origin process involves extracting chlorophyll, the natural pigment responsible for plants' green color. Adding color is totally optional. You can leave the scrub uncolored or you can use mica powder. I added phase D and mixed it to combine it well. After the scrub is ready, leave it covered for several hours for the foam to calm down before you place it in a container. I chose to use tube containers for this product. You have more information in the written formula on the website.